Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got Bud Light Seltzer Iced Tea Variety Pack. Now, this is a new pack. I've never seen these before. I just picked these up today. They were $13.99, which is actually a really sweet price for seltzers. Because normally those are like, you know, 16 to 19 bucks. So I consider myself very lucky to have found them for that price. And they are a new product. The guy said he just got them in on this week. So we have peach, raspberry, tangerine, and apple. And these are iced tea, flavored, naturally flavored with other natural flavors. So... They're not even artificially flavored, it says on here. They are 12 ounce cans, 5%, 100 calories, and less than one gram of sugar. Uh, tangerine has one carb. Apple has two. Peach has two. And raspberry has two. So, very excited to be checking these out. Ingredients, water, cold fermented cane sugar, natural flavor, citric acid, cane sugar, Sodium citrate, stevia leaf extract, malted rice. So, pretty low carb for a drink. Let's get into these. Super excited about these. And the price point. So, I mean, as far as seltzers go, these are a great price. Let's hopefully they taste good too. Bold bubbly iced tea. Tangerine, peach, we're going to lay these out, I'm going to take a guess, which is my favorite and least favorite, because that's always fun. Got apple, and last but not least, the bottom of the box, raspberry. So if I'd open it up the other way, we got raspberry first. Now normally I love raspberry and lemon tea, we do not have a lemon tea here. So, as, as much as I don't want to give a biased review, I'm going to say that I'm going to like the raspberry the best. Not sure, but we'll see. I've been wrong before. We have peach, apple. I'm going to say apple's the next best. And I'm going to go with peach last. I don't know why. Some peach tea is delicious, some peach tea is terrible. I'm going to make sure this little bit of whatever's in there is out of my cup. And we are going to review these seltzers. So, let's start off with peach. Again, these are 100 calories and 5% alcohol. They are considering them seltzers. So, here we go. Pour a little bit of each one. And hopefully I like these. Hopefully these are delicious. It smells like peach. Ugh. Yeah. Maybe that's why they're so cheap. There's always one flavor that you don't like. Hopefully the other flavors are better than this. This is not good. Ugh. It's like a watered down. Artificially tasting, even though it's natural, this to me does not taste like peach. I guess it could grow on me. Maybe it was just that first swig. The second swig was a little better. That initial taste just threw me off. I do get the hints of tea in there, but uh, it does taste more like a off kilter peach taste. Uh, not a fan of this one. Maybe you guys love this one. Let me know if you found these anywhere. Uh, this is the first time I've seen them out there in the wild. I didn't even know they were coming out. I was actually going to go buy more Bang Hard Seltzer when I found these. I had no idea these were even out there. But I like to try new things and let you know how I feel about them. So you guys can make your own decisions with your own money. Ah, uh, uh, four swigs, still don't like it. 
Let's get into tangerine. Now, this could be delicious or it could be terrible. We're going to find out. I didn't give you a close-up on the last pour. That's about what she looks like. Just kind of looks like a beer. Uh, it looks like a beer. The color of beer and everything like that. Like a light beer. Slightly better, not a ton of flavor, but much better than the peach, dear God. Uh, I could roll with that. Uh, it's a mild tangerine and a mild tea flavor, neither one of which overpower the other one. It's not bad. Definitely smells natural, tastes natural. No funny business with this one. It's exactly what it says on the can. Now, it doesn't have a ton of flavor. Don't get me wrong. I think if that was my one, like, neg on these, it would be they don't have a ton of flavor. And they could step up the flavor game a little bit because I'm not tasting a lot of tea. It's more just the flavor. So if my first knock would be is they need to have some more tea in this. Um, not tasting that ton of tea. Maybe one of those little tea packets that you buy and mix into water, but not like real tea. You know, not like a Southern sweet tea. No, not like an Arizona. No, maybe like one of those little flavor mixer thingies you squirt in there, pretends to be a tea. That might be more along the lines. But uh, is tea even one of the ingredients in here? Natural flavors, cane sugar. It doesn't even say tea is an ingredient, so maybe natural flavors is tea. But it doesn't even say tea on the ingredients, so that's a little concerning. You would think if you're going to make a tea seltzer that you would use tea in the seltzer. Um, just a little concerning. Excuse me, but as far as this one goes, it's, it's much better than the peach. Tastes like the injuries. It's not bad. We're going to move on. Perhaps you've seen some other beer review videos where the guy takes two sips and pours it into a bowl, takes two sips and pours it down a drain. That's incredibly wasteful. And money is too tight to be wasting alcohol. I think that's uh, a huge no-no, no matter who you are. I don't condone that. None of these drinks are going to waste. Even the ones that don't taste good are going to be consumed. And I do not believe in the waste of alcohol, food, or anything for that matter. I'm not a big fan of waste. Just so you know, my channel does not waste. I mean, we, we even recycle the aluminum cans. The only thing that gets thrown away is the cardboard. I, I even try to reuse that when I can. But, uh, here we go. We're on the apple now. Oh, this smells good. Hopefully it tastes just as good. I'm just taking guesses on these, you know, I might be dead wrong. Something may surprise me, but that's delicious. It uh, really doesn't taste too much like tea, but it's more of an apple cider type of taste. And I really enjoy apple cider. And the fact that this is only two carbs and less than a gram of sugar, I like this. This is a, that's like a drinking a very Mild, uh, reds, reds, uh, I wouldn't quite consider it an angry orchard, but it's like drinking a reds with just slightly less flavor. Have you ever had a reds apple ale? It's very comparable to that. There's a very slight hint of tea, but not very much. It definitely tastes like a reds without all the carbs and sugar. This is very comparable to reds 
It doesn't have the flavor of the Angry Orchard. But that's where I'm at with this one. So actually, I'm, I'm putting this one up on my little pedestal. It's just a candle, guys. I just gave away my secret, but it's a candle. Um, that's what our cans look like. Just give a little showcase there. But uh, best one so far. Wasn't wrong so far. I would, I'd buy a six pack of that. I buy a twelve pack of that Bud Light. If you're listening, I would buy that just by itself. That's a solid drink. Of course, this is completely unsponsored, unbiased, and honest. So, my opinion, I'd buy these by themselves. I'd buy a tall boy of that, three tall boys of that. That's not bad at all. It's not real heavy. Excuse me. It's just the carbonation getting to me. The apple so far. Salad. We got one left though. Raspberry. I'm super stoked about this one. The sodium drew though on these two. So if you got a sodium issue or heart issues and sodium too high, 25 milligrams of sodium. I mean, that's super low. Can of, can of soda is like five times that. I mean, these are these are actually pretty healthy for you. I mean, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving any medical advice or anything like that. But uh, this is probably healthier for you than a can of pop, a can of soda, a Coke. Only five percent alcohol. It's not like you're going to get wasted on these unless you're really a lightweight. You might get a buzz if you drink the whole box. But, uh, not bad. going to open up our last can here. Just going to finish this up. This is solid. I, I'll tell you right now, this is real solid, this apple. Definitely a great taste to it. We are getting on to raspberry. Let's go raspberry. Are you going to win this or are you going to let apple... Win the box. Oh, that smells just like Lipton. And it's still about the same color. This is a little darker than the first three. Although. The smell is better than the taste here. Might have to say apple might take this one. Raspberry, you almost had it. It's solid. It smells like a, a Lipton or a brisk sweet raspberry tea. It just doesn't have the flavor profile. It is very mild. I do taste the raspberry and the tea in this one, so at least it's like a 50-50 split of flavor. It just doesn't have enough of it. It's close. It's, it's right on the edge there. I think I'm going to have to move Apple up here in the first place. Maybe. And I guess with a price point, not bad. Just over a dollar per can. It's a dollar twenty-five a can, dollar twenty a can, maybe. Math is a little off. Dollar eighteen a can, something like that. Twelve for fourteen. Whatever the math is on that. But one of the cheaper seltzers out there. I can't complain for the price point. Five percent alcohol. Um, just the peach is just so god awful that uh, you can have three cans you really don't like in there. But maybe you love peach and maybe you think it's awesome. Maybe you hate the tangerine. I don't know. Everybody's flavor profile is different, everybody's tastes are different. I'm 
Raspberry seems to have the most tea flavor to it, though, which I can't respect. But I think Apple's winning this here. I really do. Let's finish these off and give you a final review. Price point, A-. minus. Alcohol content, B. Flavor, C+. Plus. Can it off over there. Start off with peach, my least favorite. Look at this at three. This is awful. Uh, tangerine, five and a half. It's all right. Not that great. Going to raspberry here. Moving up down the road. I'm going to give this a 7.25. And then we got apple. Really solid. Definitely appreciate this flavor. I'm giving this like an eight and a half. That's a solid flavor. That's the flavor you should keep if you're out there listening. That is, that hits the spot. Appreciate each and every one of you for watching. If you haven't already liked and subscribed to Keep It Real over here on Rumble and Keeping It Real Reviews on YouTube, definitely appreciate that. If you know anybody that likes beer reviews, send them my way. We appreciate the uh, invite, the thanks, and the referral. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. Until next time, cheers.